Hi, my Kayla crew. Welcome back. So today I have a trunk club to share with you. Now, when I first received the preview for this trunk, I declined quite a bit. So with trunk club, they send you a preview of 10 items. You can decline things. You can accept everything. You can decline the whole trunk. So yeah, it wasn't great. So, you know, I listened to my friend Carolyn over at Carolyn and her clothes, and so she usually says that when you decline pieces, you get some crazy things. So I hesitated and I almost declined the whole trunk, but I'm like, you know what? No, I'm just going to be very descriptive in why I'm declining these items. And I was, and I think the replacement items are pretty promising. So let's dig into the trunk and see what I got. Okay, so we're going to start off with this top by CC. It's the dot flutter sleeve knit top in black. It's a size extra large. It is $59. This top is 95% polyester, 5% spandex. It was made in China and you can machine wash this in cold water. Although this top is 95% polyester, it's not a thick polyester. It's got some spandex in it. So it has a little bit of stretch. Can you see that? It's more of that crepey polyester there. You can get a good look of how the top is made. And then it does have buttons going down the front of the top. They blend in really nicely with the top too. So what do you think? They are functioning buttons. I love the cute polka dots, love the flutter sleeves. Although the only thing is, can you see like right here, it's showing as a bit lighter because the inside of the fabric, whoops, there you go. But I don't know, am I being too picky about that? Because otherwise I think this is an adorable top. This would be a nice work top. I think it would look nice with black pants, with black jeans, with white pants and jeans, with white shorts. They sent me a pair of red pants, which I'll probably, maybe I'll try them on with this top for a pop of color on the bottom. So I think I would get a lot of use out of it. I guess that's not too bad, right? The underneath of the top, you can see. So what do you think? Now this top, oh, let me show you the back of it before I forget. So it feels nice, it would be a good work top. And what I was going to say before I showed you the back of it was that I think this top would be good under cardigans. I don't think the flutter sleeve would create too much bulk. I'd have to try it and see, but I think you could probably layer it. So I think I might keep this top. Let me know what you think about it. Maybe I'll throw on the red pants now so we can see how it looks. Okay, so let's talk about the jeans. So these are by NYDJ. They are the Sherry Rivet Side Slit Slim Ankle Jeans. Try to say that 10 times fast, that's a tongue twister. And a size 16 in red, $59.40. Oh, I forgot to look at where these were made and the fabric. I'll do that and either share it in my next clip or put it below. So I love the color of these jeans and I think it looks nice with the polka dot top, pop of color, right? I love the vibrant red of these. Now I have a pair of red jeans. Mine are a skinny cut, of course, cause you guys know I love my skinny jeans and I'm not giving up my skinny jeans no matter what anybody says. But you know, these are a different cut. I probably wear the ones I own maybe once a month, if that. So do I need another pair of red jeans? Probably not. Although I do like these and they're a different cut. They feel comfortable, they fit nicely. They do have pockets here in the front and then they have pockets in the back, which I'll show you. I'm not sure, can you see the cut here or the slit here at the ankle? And the length is good on these too. So I usually, are these petite? I don't think these are a petite, which is, no, they're not. So these are a good fit lengthwise on me too. So let me know what you think. Let me turn around and show you the back of these. So you can get a look at the back. Like I said, they have pockets here. Can you see? So yeah, I love the color, but I don't know if they're in need. Although I do like them a lot. And they're a different cut than I have. So I don't know. You guys let me know what you think and I will be right back with the next item. Okay, before we move on to the next piece, I wanna share the fabric of the red pants with you. They are 73% cotton, 15% lyocell, 10% viscose, and 2% elastane. They are made in China and you can machine wash them in cold water. Okay, let's talk about this tank, which I don't know if I care for on me. I think I'm the right person that might be really cute on. This is by One State. This is the Twist Tank in white, size extra large. It is 95% rayon, 5% spandex. It is made in Vietnam and you can machine wash this in cold water. Did I tell you it was $49? I don't remember. <laughs> short term memory, I guess. Um, anyway, so I don't know. It is a bit short. They're calling it the twist tank because of what's going on here. Can you see that? It almost looks like an X kind of has some fabric pulling here, fabric pulling this way. 
kind of creates a little bit of a unique hemline. Can you see that comes up a little bit? I just don't know if it's right for me. I had it on with the red jeans before and you could see all of the bulk from the fly area, the button, the zipper. This is a little bit better, but I don't know. I just don't think it's flattering for me. The armholes are a bit big on each side. They were even bigger because you know me, I like pull my shirts down. So I had it pulled down like farther than this and it was, the armholes were huge. So I fixed it and they're still not perfect. So I'm going to send this tank back. Like I said, I think I'm the right person. It would be really cute in the back. It shows all of the lumps and bumps. So just be prepared when I turn it around. Can you see that like right there? Yep. So yeah, this one I'm going to send back, but I think it would be cute on the right person. Okay. Let me turn the camera down a little bit. We'll talk about the shorts. Okay, let's talk about these shorts. Now, these are by Alex Mill. I've never heard of that brand before. If you've heard of it or tried anything from that brand, let me know below. They are the Ambrose Cotton Fleece Shorts. They are 100% cotton, made in China, and you can machine wash these in cold water. They're a size extra large, and they are coming in at a high price of $88. So I love the way that they feel. They do have pockets in the front. They're super comfortable. I don't know if you can see, they have buttons all the way, like right, how many buttons do they have? One, two, three, three buttons? Am I counting that right? <laughs> I'll have to look back and see if I was right. Um, I think the length of them is really nice. I don't know the inseam. I, I'll have to check the app to see if it lists it on the app. So I love the color of these two. The price is a bit high. I think you could dress these up and maybe with like some cute wedge sandals, make a nice outfit. But I just don't know, for $88 in August, I'm probably going to pass on these, but they are comfortable. In the back, you'll see, actually, let me show you the back because and they have one pocket on this side. So yeah, they're nice, they're comfortable, love the color, but just don't love the price tag. Yeah, nope. Let me know what you think and I'll be right back with the next item. Okay, next up is this top by Treasure and Bond. This is the Rouged Keyhole T-shirt in white. It's a size extra large. It is $35. This top is 53% rayon and 47% cotton. It was made in Mexico and you, you have to hand wash this actually. I almost like, caught myself. I almost said you can machine wash it. You can't. You have to hand wash this in cold water and on the tag it says do not twist or wring you know to get the water out this is just okay there's nothing special about this top i don't think this top does anything for me um it's got a rounded neckline what i do like about this top so some of you tell me that you don't like to wear short sleeves you don't like to show your arms so this top has a longer sleeve length so if you don't like to show your arms your upper arms i should say you've got some coverage here which is nice um, I don't mind showing my arms, but yeah, if you don't like to, it's a nice detail. It's got the ruching here, kind of comes up a little bit with the, you can see kind of has a keyhole detail and then it ties. It's just okay. Nothing special to me. It's not screaming, keep me. Let me show you the back of it. I do like that it has some cotton in it, which is nice. It feels like a nice fabric too, but yeah, I'm going to send this one back because it's not a wow piece. Okay, let me grab the next item. Okay, so next up is this top by Vince Camuto. It's the Palms Sleeveless Blouse. It's a size extra large in black, but as you can tell, it's got the black background with like the palm leaf print. Did I tell you it's an extra large and $69? So it's 100% polyester. It's lined and the lining is also 100% polyester. This top was made in Vietnam and you can machine wash this in cold water. So I think the top is cute. I wanted to try it with the shorts to see if it looked good with the green. I think it does. I think it looks very safari-ish, doesn't it? So I think it's a cute look, but I think you could dress this top up for work. I can see myself wearing this blouse with white pants, with black pants, and some cute wedges to work. So what do you think about it? Let me come close so you can see the print. The neckline is a bit higher than I usually prefer, but it's not too close to my neck where I feel like I'm choking, you know? You guys know I don't care for things too close to my neck. So here's the print, very tropical looking, isn't it? Love that. The armholes fit nicely too on this tank, so I really like this tank, I do. I know it's a bit pricey, but I think this tank would look good under cardigans 
as well. So throw on like a black cardigan or throw on a white cardigan, maybe even a green cardigan. Like if I can find a green cardigan, I'd have to see how that looks. So I do like this a lot. Do I want to pay $69 for it? I don't know. And Vince Camuto, I could probably find something at TJ Maxx, do you think? Maybe not this exact tank. I don't know. Okay, let me show you the back of it. It does have a keyhole in the back too. Can you see that? So I think it's a cute blouse. I really do, I like it. Okay, let me know what you think. I'm gonna, I have a pair of shorts to share with you. I have some sunglasses and a bag. Okay, let's talk about these shorts. Now these shorts feel like they're super short. I feel like I wanna keep pulling them down. They don't look that short on camera. For some reason, I feel like they're up to here on me, but they're not. Let me tell you what they are. They're by BP. They're the women's high waist denim shorts in blue, size 34. They're $29. That's not a bad price. These are 100% cotton and they were made in China. You can machine wash these in cold water. They've got a bunch of tags. Where's the tag? And you know, it might be in the back on the pocket where it says that these were made out of 100% recycled products, which is nice. So they're sustainable, but they're not comfortable at all. They feel, they don't feel good on at all. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just the fit. You know, I like a high-waisted pant and jean, but these feel like they're super high-waisted. I don't think they're very flattering either. They do have your classic five pocket style. Yeah. Can you tell? Look how high-waisted they are. Yeah, so I'm not a fan. No, I kind of feel like I just want to keep pulling them down. They're just, yeah, they're not comfortable. I don't think they're flattering. So these are going to go back bummer because it's not a bad price either. Okay, I'll be right back with the next item. Okay, we've got some accessories to talk about. So let's start with the necklace. The necklace is by Adina's Jewels. It's the Figaro layer chain necklace in gray. Hmm, interesting. I thought it was gold. <laughs> And it's $98, so it's pricey. It's a layered necklace. Oh, it's not laying properly. There you go. Very delicate looking, isn't it? It's super pretty. It's super sparkling. I'm trying to come as close as I can so you can see it. But for the price, I think I'm going to pass. Yeah. What do you think? I totally thought that was gold. I'm going to take it off after and see what it is. Okay, now let me grab the purse because we got a purse to talk about. Oh, you know what? I really want to talk about the sunglasses. Let's talk about those next. So they're by Key Australia. And I tried these on already. I don't know why I put them back in the bag. And I really liked these. Let me tell you what they are. So they are the Maluma All In 52 millimeter mini aviator sunglasses in gray, $65. So, and I wrapped them back up. Oops. Let me unwrap them. Hang on. Let's see. So I liked them when I tried them on. What do you think? Oh, let me turn my ring light off so you could get a good look without the glare. Aren't they cute? I like them a lot. I think they fit my face nicely. They're super comfortable. I want to come close so you could see the shape better and the detail better. So yeah, here they are. So I think I'm going to end up keeping these. I really like them. like the way they fit and feel. Okay, now let me go grab the purse and we'll talk about that. Okay, next up we've got a tiny, tiny, tiny handbag. This is by Coach. It's the Swinger Glove Tanned Leather Shoulder Bag. It is $195 in brown. This is so small, too small for my liking. I did just purchase a clutch or a wristlet, whatever you want to call it. Actually, it serves as both, so we can call it both. But anyway, yeah, this is just way too small for me. Um, I like the color of it a lot. I'm looking at it and I realized that the clutch that I just purchased, this kind of has the same feature. So this is the pull. I don't want to take this off because I want to keep it nice for the next person. But this is the pull of the zipper when you, oops, when it's closed, if it's not, it's, well, of course it's caught in something. There you go. Um, but see, it can kind of fasten here for a little bit of extra security. You know what I mean? Which is nice has a gold zipper. Let's take a look at the inside. I don't want to take this off either because I'm not going to keep it, but it's kind of small. I have to carry it. I'm calling it a shoulder bag. Well, I guess you could be right underneath your shoulder. <laughs> but anyway, let's see what the inside looks like. Can you extend this at all? I don't think so. Oh, I just zippered it back up. I'm all over the place today. Okay, so yeah, I don't think it has any organization. Oh, it has like a pocket here if you wanted to put a card there. And I think, 
that's it. Yeah, no other organization. It's just paper inside, but that's the only thing it has. So, yep, tiny bag, expensive tiny bag that's going back. Okay, I'll meet you in the recap. Okay, so what am I keeping? The sunglasses. I love the way that these fit my face. I love the way that they feel. And I don't think that the price is bad at $65, considering I'll get a lot of use out of them. So yeah, these are keepers. So yep, keeping these. You know, I constantly throw my sunglasses on top of my head and my glasses at work when I'm not using them. And then I'm like, oh, where are my glasses? What I do with my glasses, where are they? Yep, on top of my head constant problem. <laughs> and then, especially when they're comfortable, you don't feel them, you know? So, and then I'm going back and forth between keeping both of these tops or just one. The reason why I can't decide is because this one is $69. $70 is kind of a lot for this, isn't it? So maybe I shouldn't keep this one. And this one is $59, which is still a bit pricey, but I really did like this one too. So let me know what you think. Should I keep both or just pick one? I think if I had to pick one, I'd go with this one. So yeah, let me know what you think. And I've got to take this necklace off because I don't feel this necklace on me at all. It's very lightweight, super, super lightweight. And so I'm worried that I'm going to pack up my trunk and forget to put this back in the box. And then I'm going to be charged a hundred bucks for this necklace. <laughs> it is a really pretty necklace, but I just don't think I pull for it a lot. You guys know I love my big chunky statement pieces. Clearly I've got these big earrings in today. So yeah, I think I'm going to send this, or I know I'm going to send this one back. I got to take it off before I forget. So let me go do that. Thanks so much for watching and for spending some time with me today. I really appreciate it. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I'll see you soon for another video, but before you go, make sure you hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it.